Hey, Zankle here, and in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how I've been using Claude to basically generate all of my presentations recently. Claude can generate beautiful, well-designed, amazing, well-copywritten, presentations with animations and everything if you give it the right prompt. So I basically have not been touching Keynote or PowerPoint or Canva or anything, and it can spin me up this amazing presentation in just a couple of minutes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm just going to paste my script right into Claude, and I'm gonna give it a very specific prompt now to create this presentation, which will actually be an HTML file. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull up my dictation tool here called Aqua Voice and just speak the prompt in the Claude. I've provided a script that I would like you to turn into a professional, well-designed presentation. Make sure all of the text is formatted properly and centered, and use your professional copywriting knowledge, as if a professional copywriter was designing these slides, to take the most punchiest, engaging parts of each thought and put those into the headline, into the words. Okay, and we'll load that prompt in there with aqua voice and we'll go ahead and run this and let claude create our presentation okay so we can see that claude has actually been begin coding because again this is not going to be a keynote or a powerpoint presentation this is going to be an html file that we open up in our browser because claude excels at coding and so when you use its coding capabilities to create your presentation then it excels and it can do exactly what we want now i have tried ChatGPT and most recently GPT-5 to do the same thing, but I found honestly I get much better results with Claude. Okay, we can see Claude is now finished and we have a little preview here on the right and that took probably roughly four or five minutes to do. So let's go ahead and open this and actually just scan through it and make sure Claude listened to everything that we asked it. So not bad for a starting headline uh, for, a, for the first slide. Okay, decent little, you know, I'd say that's pretty well designed, designed well enough for a good engaging presentation. Um, one thing Claude definitely did not listen to us though is the animations, which is okay because we're just sometimes we just have to remind it. And there's gonna be a couple of little weird things. So you can see this slide here is completely blank for some reason. Um, sometimes it gets it perfect on the first try. Sometimes it takes one or two more prompts and just letting Claude know what it still needs to work on. But guys, for four or five minutes from just for like one prompt, you can have a presentation ready in minutes, which makes it very, very convenient if you just want to quickly turn your script into a presentation. Okay, there's a couple of things here that we're just going to add in. So like for some reason, this slide is blank. So what I'm gonna do, okay, actually, well, looks like we have, looks like we have uh, page numbers on the bottom right. My, my matcha was in the way of that. So I'm just gonna go here and find the page numbers. So looks like, pay, was that slide eight? Yeah, slide eight, slide 19, eight, 19, and 24, okay. Let's go back to Claude and just let him know. Looks good, but there's just a couple of things that you didn't do. Slides 8, 19, and 24 are completely black. I can't see any content whatsoever. Fix this. Also, I told you to use graphs where appropriate to uh, further demonstrate our points and to make them more impactful. So add some visuals and some graphs in there to make this whole presentation more engaging. Lastly, there are no animations whatsoever when I did ask you for animations. So make sure there are um, you know, animations on every slide entry to make this presentation more engaging. Use Apple polished like animations. Where appropriate, use constant animations if it makes a bigger impact. Throw that little simple prompt into Claude and Let's just see, it should be able to fix uh, fix all of the errors. So let me run that. All right, it is now finished with our version two and immediately you can see we have some now animations on the, the first slide. Uh, and now if you don't like these little, I don't even know what to call it, just rising dot animation, you can screenshot and tell Claude you want something else. Also, if you ever wanna go back, you, you see we're at V2 now um, and we can go back to V1, that one actually that didn't have any animations. 
and you can always restore a previous version if you don't like the updates that Claude did. So let's go through this and make sure Claude listened to us. Okay, already we have some animations. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh, nice little bar graph that animates in. Looking good, looking good. Okay, it looks like we have some content that didn't fill in. I'm guessing the animation might have messed it up a little bit. So that is slide five. Okay, so ooh, we even have animations when we hover over it. Yep, yeah, so these are animating now, but it looks like the text disappeared. So just screenshotting these. What was that? Slide five. Wait, not slide. Yeah, that was slide five. Slide five. Slide six. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, so it looks like for some reason we just had some text disappear from some of these. So it, yeah, it did, it did listen to us. It looks pretty good. Those few slides, those three slides that were all black were fixed. The only thing we're having an issue with now is just some text not appearing. <laughs> looks good. And the animations are working correctly, but it looks like some of the content is now not visible. Um, the slides that I screenshotted and attached to the chat all are missing content. So go scan these slides and make sure all of the content is visible and is animating incorrectly. All right, now for some reason, Claude spun up multiple versions fixing this. So let's go to the latest one, version eight, and just make sure that that content is now filling in. Which slide was it? Okay, that slide still needs a, this slide is now filled in, that is working. Let's see, let's see, that looks good. Um, there should be, I, I'm assuming there should be more content here or this graph is just way too small. Yep. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. So it did make some improvements and it did fix most of the slides. There's just still two that need to be tweaked. So again, let's give Claude some feedback. All right, guys, with just a few prompts, our presentation should be complete. So let's just skim over real quick, make sure everything looks good. Let me make this preview a little bit larger. And let's make sure that Claude fix that graph that we asked for. Yes, okay, so looks good, much larger. Actually added some context to the graph. You know, we actually added some labels and we can see clearly what each of these mean. So our presentation is pretty much done with just a few prompts. So now if we wanna present this, we basically just download this as an HTML and then we open up the page in our browser and now we are ready to present our presentation. Now that took roughly 15, 20 minutes with a few prompts and we have a full well-designed presentation with graphs and animations and everything. Now this would have took me much, much longer with PowerPoint or Keynote or any other tool uh, if I didn't use Claude. So very amazing this is just going to get better it's going to get even better at whipping up these presentations and so it's really cool to see that we can just put our text our speech our script into claude and have it generate us a fully fledged beautiful functional presentation now the prompt i used to generate this presentation in the beginning of the video i'll add down to the description below if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate a like and subscribe thank you so much for joining me i hope you got value and i'll see you in the next one